This is Kit Eaton for the New York Times. As a scientist, I love the fact that there are lots of physics-based games out there to play on your smartphone. And even Angry Birds Space is a surprisingly good example. Now, have you ever thought about the fact that when you're stretching the catapult back to launch an Angry Bird, what the game is actually doing is crudely simulating an elastic band? And then the trajectory of your bird requires a lot of ballistic physics and maths. And of course in Angry Birds Space, this all happens in zero gravity, with Newton's laws of motion in action, including the effects of gravitational fields of planets. Angry Birds Space is one dollar on iOS devices, and free on Android. And while we're talking about Newton's laws of motion, there's a great game for iOS and Android devices called Osmos, which relies very much on Newton's laws of motion and the principles of rocketry. In this game you play a little blue blob of life that has to absorb other blue blobs to survive, and you propel yourself around the game arena by squirting out little jets of material in different directions, almost exactly how a space capsule maneuvers in space as it approaches the International Space Station. The game sounds simple, but it looks beautiful and is fun to play, and very tricky to master, and it costs just $3 on iOS and Android, and there's a free trial version on Android. Lastly, for a more classic game that definitely relies on physics principles to work, check out Jenga, which is free for both iOS and Android. This app is a faithful simulation of the real-life bricks game where you have to stack up bricks and pull them out, taking care not to upset the rest of the stack. Even though you might not think about it, there's a lot of physics in action here, particularly in the way the app simulates when the stack falls over, which is very realistic. And that's it from me. Have fun playing with physics.